What's up, it's your boy coming at you, and let's just check this video out. Reactions, fair use, all that. This is not monetized, this video. Bernard Hopkins warns Terrence Crawford risking life versus Canelo. Reality checks. Benavides a threat. Let's just react to some of this real quick, get some comments on it. And uh, let's hear it. Hopkins, B Hop is the man. What he has to say. What fight? For, for Crawford, uh, or excuse me, Canelo, back to, back to Canelo. Would you he rather says what see fights? him fight a Terrence Crawford or Benavidez? <laughs> we, we were talking about Terrence. Who? To, well, you know, the casual fans, they don't care about weight classes. They just know the names. <laughs> Crawford, so Canelo, they, well, so they want to see it. Crawford know. cares about his life. And what and with that, with that, with that fight do for Canelo? Yeah. Fighting Crawford and Crawford beats Canelo. What do they do for Canelo? Okay, I already said that in the last fight. Sorry, the last one of the last videos. What does it do for Canelo? It's really a Crawford thing. Um, that being said, real quick, uh, some people are just uh, commenting. I got to block comments. Some haters. If you're getting really bad on here with profanities and stuff, you're gonna get blocked. Let me. I'll tell you about a hater story real quick. I love the haters. I've been doing this. Pff, I was on YouTube in 2006. I already made it, son. Just saying. This is not. This is not like my first rodeo show here. So. You know, if you're upset at me for starting to get views on this channel thinking that I'm I'm going to make money and you're worried, yo, when he's already collecting 4.9 and over 5 point something interest in the bank, already been on YouTube for years, already got hundreds of thousands of video uh, 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 subscribers, already got millions and millions of views worldwide, already invested it, it's over. It's over, Sonny. So take the jealousy and go on to another channel. You know who you are when you're watching and you're mad at people doing their thing and you, you feel how it's, a, it's somehow it's a threat to you because people are doing good in life. Don't be mad. Get over your jealousy and go be creative and do something else. Okay, let's check this out. <laughs> I just think that there are so many other It's true. To what make. does it do for Canelo? That's realistic. It makes sense. And less life risking. Mm -hmm. On top of the risk that we risk stepping in there with guys our weight, and now you want me to do something. Canelo is not coming down to 60. No. It's Crawford no. who wants it. He, he, he wants shouldn't. the chance to prove it. He's half the best. a billion dollars. I get it. Sam. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Right. And that's the, and again, that's one of. Um, uh, Crawford. I mean. Uh, Hopkins is well aware Delahoy went up and wait to fight him and what happened was the liver shot put Delahoy down. Some people to this day believe that was probably an act, a way out for Delahoy to collect a fast check in a fight he knew he was going to get knocked out in. And yeah, uh, health is definitely a concern. Uh, Crawford, like I discussed, would be what it would be going after greatness. Uh, what kind of fight is out there? Let's say Canelo's not on the table. Let's just say they're not going to fight. Because I don't think um, Canelo really needs that money. As uh, He's a lot more in a better position financially, of course, than Crawford, even though Crawford is set. But why would Crawford want that? Because he's seeking greatness. He already feels like, oh, I did it all. I can beat them all. So why not go up and wait and do the unthinkable? Mikey Garcia tried it, but not as severe as this not as drastically as going up to fighting canelo who's a uh, uh, huge skipping two weight classes maybe they can meet somewhere i don't know uh let, well let's let's also figure out what uh, hopkins is talking about right here and see where he's going what else he has to say what's happening on a shakeup of the new world order where you got fighters that's really 54 at best one in the to take on a Canelo who can actually fight a cruiserweight and maybe give a cruiserweight, especially at this moment, all the hell mm -hmm. they can want. If you can't hurt a guy like Canelo, and you don't have height and depth, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna walk to you down. Least he's gonna take a lot of chances. Have something he's gonna to try work to knock with. out Crawford real fast. Um, like I said, though, I made the point. If you look at Floyd Mayweather, if you look at Canelo, Canelo's not gonna go down there. So, I mean, it, no no one's going to offer them, like, I have obscene money, like, I have a billion dollars to see this fight. We're not talking about, like, a heavyweight division fight. Um, you know, a, a Deontay Wilder versus a, a Fury 4, potentially, or something like a Joshua versus Fury. Uh, the money is not going to be as high, and it's not going to be as lucrative for this fight to happen. Although it would be, it would make a lot of money, but it's just not going to be financially feasible for because ever like I said in the previous video Canelo has everything to lose whereas Cross Crawford has everything to gain let's continue then we're going to see another 
-hmm. what they say, born fight, not say a smart fight. I understand the money grab. I understand it's about the bag. <clears throat> born fight. All right, well, this is taking a while to get out. But yeah, Hopkins, B-Hop knows boxing better than anyone else. This is just a lot of fans. A boxing fan like myself, uh, by the way, I'm not uh, just just saying for the trolls, I'm not trying to be a boxing analyst. I already had a radio show in New York many, many years ago. I was a kid. I was crushing it. Um, just anyone could talk about boxing. Any, any, it's, it's a fact. Anybody that knows a sport really well could be a professional. But I'm not trying to be an analyst. Uh, people coming on here with the haters, you're not a good analyst, bro. Uh, you're not this. You're not that. You're not that. Like I said, I already... I already did my thing. I'm not trying. I'm just. Ha I'm just a YouTuber having a good freaking time. All right. I got a lot of channels. My name's not even on those channels, and I made them very successful. I <laughs> I got all types of channels from uh, uh, UFOs, from uh, compilation channels, from entertaining channels, talk show channels, to this channel, to that channel. Already did it. Uh, finance channels without my name on it. Did my thing. Just still because this is what I like to do. If your feathers are getting ruffled because you're worried about someone doing something that, that you cannot do, that you haven't accomplished, just, you know, I'm a professional editor. I'm an editor for TV. I've created content on TV, major TV in other countries, original content. The checks, cha-ching, already invested. So I'm just saying, move on. Should I get one of my play buttons off the wall right here and show it? Do I, do I need to go there? I'm just saying, don't worry. Look, if you're just stumbling on this channel for the first time and you're getting ticked off because, I don't know, somehow you feel threatened, there's a lot of haters out there. My point is I'm a very positive person. Don't listen to these haters. I remember back in the day I created my first YouTube channel. I was creating original uh, short films on them, and someone wrote, you're never going to get you're never gonna get money off doing this. Well, guess what? It changed my life. Made a lot of money. Made a living. Don't, don't hate. Just saying. So if you're going for your dreams, go for your dreams. Don't listen to these haters with no talent, no ability, no self-confidence, uh, no nothing. They just sit back and they write online and try to discourage people from doing their, fulfilling their dreams. Don't listen to any of those clowns. But anyway, that's just so I wanted to get that out because uh, I, I keep reading these comments and some of them are just hate comments. And they don't realize a lot of these people. They just come onto this channel. They just think, I'm just a new YouTuber starting... I might make money. Uh, you know, that's a big uh, thing. People don't like that. Uh, it's already, it's, like I said, it's already in the stock portfolios. It's already, I was in Dogecoin under a penny. I bought some for my friend. Yeah, I made so much money overnight one time that I screamed to my wife. I'll leave it at that. Let's continue. <laughs> Crawford ain't 26. Speaking of money. A major, another it's a millionaire major move insane. show. They're packing their bags up. You will see a lot of desperate moves jumping off. Yeah, he's 35. You will see a lot of very unrealistic, Showtime, he's talking about Showtime. Crazy thinking, crazy Say, tell gossip him, about what fighter should fight what fighter. That doesn't make sense. But it only makes sense if you don't have yeah. nowhere else to do, go or do, and you start reaching for straws. Well, let me tell you something. Let's be real. This is new media. Uh, you'll notice a lot of the fight channels. They have sensational headlines. This is how you create captivating content. You got to get the eyes on it. So you got to be coming up with crazy things, crazy headlines, clickbait. It's true. It's true. Everyone does it. This is how new media works. A lot of people, yeah, Showtime's packing it in. There's so much competition with the overall uh, legacy media. Forget sports, legacy media freaking out. Oh, my God. CNN or whoever, Fox News, this YouTuber's getting more views on a segment than we're getting and we're, a, we're on, on, on TV. Oh my goodness, we got to get on this. Let's clickbait UFO head, head, headlines. You know, this is, this is what it's become. This is how it's been for a while. Uh, I've identified this years ago. And this is just the way it is. And B-Hop, by the way, is this guy great or what? The man went from prison at 18 to, to be, or, you know, becoming like... Uh, a champion, becoming a great person, uh, a boxing promoter, huge fan of uh, Bernard Hopkins, the executioner. Never liked the alien mask change when he did the alien. Um, he tried it, but he should have stuck, stuck to the X. But B-Hop, he did it all. This guy knows boxing in and out. He knows what he's talking about, and he's just really a, a highly likable dude for me. I like him. And he sticks to that great uh, diet out of the ring. 
uh, if Bihop would shave his beard or dye it black just for men in the building, he would look like he's the same guy at 34 years old. It's crazy. Love him. Love this guy. Bernard Executioner Hopkins. And I like this trainer. Uh, uh, Bowie Fisher was the first trainer. And then um, Brother Nazim. Man, I, I did I read that right? He passed away RIP during COVID. Oh, he, he got over a stroke. Uh, Brother Nazim was the man. Yeah, I, I feel sad. But anyway, let's continue. Losing the boxing greats. And then it would die down. Gossip is not going to mm. happen. I guarantee you it's not going to happen. Canelo Crawford, you mean? It's not going to happen. It's just gossip, yeah. you're saying? Yeah. I, you it's know, not- I tend to lean towards Hopkins. I don't think it's going to happen either. <laughs> hey, I'm getting I'm getting viewers on these videos. I went from a dead channel here having fun, the Millionaire Move Show, to getting some views. You know, you got AI channels now. I My favorite AI ch- channel is Fight Now. I'll give Fight Now some credit. But, you know, it's chat GTP, probably, most likely. AI run through a bunch of uh, images generated. It says, Opus, uh, there's other AI uh, websites. You could just run it through and you could just go through this whole thing. But I still believe the need for a real breathing human being like myself. Check it. We're not too far away from the point where this could be faked, too. Where you're going to have someone like myself talking, and they're not going to be real. They're not going to be real. They're not going to be real. Glitch in the Matrix, glitch in the Matrix. Oh, my God. I'm real. <laughs> I'm just playing. It's a joke. There was a glitch in the Matrix. I'm, I'm not a deep fake. And, yeah, you could literally get a, a video where that's why the AI with the actor strike is going on right now will be delivering, you know, a, a person like talk right now on the camera. And it'll be AI. It'll be Tom Cruise. It'll be Keanu Reeves. It'll be uh, Denzel Washington. You know, the likeness is getting stolen. But that's going to be problematic. That's going to be lawsuit time. When you steal someone's identity and you have their voice and they're delivering it and they're monetizing it, that's it. That's not going to fly in the future. Just saying. Um, Hopkins saying Char- um, Canelo versus Crawford is not happening is probably most likely. But I like to talk about it. I like to talk about it just in case. If. It's a big if. Because Canelo, like I said, Canelo, why should Canelo do this? He has everything to lose. If he gets beat by little Crawford coming up to a higher weight and it looks like Floyd Mayweather where he gets outclassed. I'm not sa- saying any of this is going to happen. I'm saying if. That's always in the mind, if, and he goes down in weight and he'll be like weight drain maybe possibly because he loses so much weight meeting at a catch weight going down. There'll be, it just doesn't favor him unless you hand him like 300 million, maybe he would do it. And that's not going to happen. No one's going to get put up that type of money to see this fight. What happened? Continuing. What about the fight that would make sense that Canelo and Benavidez? Do you think Canelo would still beat hmm. Benavidez based on what you well, said? Well, that, that fight makes sense whether, uh, because of the weight difference. That fight makes sense because of the threat. Benavidez is so much slower. So close in those two styles and fights that they had before, they might get in with each other. Makes it realistic than a Crawford and Canelo. If you put a poll out okay. on fight okay. news. So we'll be talking about that fight coming up. Let me just stop it right there. Um, Fair use, video credits below in the description or whatever. Um, yeah, this uh, this channel is not monetized, once again. This video is brought to you by no one. It's brought to you by me. I want to talk about this video that surfaced real quick. Don't go anywhere. Charlo, some say kind of drunk, maybe. Maybe he's having a good time chilling, whatever. Uh, the, the aftermath of the Canelo fight has affected now his family, unfortunately. Let's listen to what Charlo's saying here. My kids hating to go to school right now because they don't want to go to school because everybody keep trying to bully them because of they That's a loss. That's crazy. I'm just like, Yo, they- that is crazy. Nobody's kid should be bullied because this man, this champion, went in there and fought another champion. You know, those kids are haters. They're jealous. Those kids are rich. I'm sure Charlo's not stupid. I hope he invests his money, right? Those kids have a promising future. So you can make fun of his dad all you want while somebody else's dad, you know, who knows what they're doing. This man is going to work, famous, in the ring, champion, and his kids are being bullied because he lost a fight. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Let's continue. They trying to bully my kids and all this, because... They uncle fought and, you know, he lost. Like, come on, man. I'm, 
bro. Oh, like, uncle. But like at the end of the day, like bro, this boxing, bro. Like, hey, listen, if this man wants to get a little nice, that's his business. If the Charlo brothers chill and party, you know, in their private time, that's their business. As long as they're not doing it during training. Let's continue. You know what I'm saying? You win some, you lose some. And I'm 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 down with everything. But like, no, we not we have we have lemonade. We got lemonade. What y'all talking about? We drinking lemonade. We got we ain't having no drink. Y'all stupid. What y'all dumb. He drunk. He drunk. That's all y'all gonna get. That's all that's the only way y'all can try to f me. Because y'all think I'm drunk. No. I'm just drink I'm drinking lemonade. I'm just enjoy enjoying the night with my kids. Oh, this is wild. So anyway, listen, I love the way the kid said, I just get off there. I think there's some kid that said that. Listen, the Charlo brothers, they're chilling. They're doing their thing. And just because Charlo lost, nobody should be bullying anybody. It's really childish. It's silly. It's stupid. Look, these guys are fighters and their kids. It, imagine going to school and your dad's a champion. Your dad's a professional fighter. And wow, you're, 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 you, you should be proud of that. And then you see these other kids hating. Like, listen, my dad's in a fighting family. My dad's one of the Trollo brothers. He's making mad dough. He's making money. Uh, you know, come on. Don't, don't be haters. It's just silly stuff. So anyway, I guess to sum it all up and wrap it all up, yeah, we, we went through that. You get some je jealous comments. You get some haters out there. I'm not going to address it like that ever again really i'm just gonna ban and block if you you're bashing other people and if i catch it i really don't have to, time to go through comments i can't even look at the comments on my other channels or whatever let alone this channel but i was just curious i went in there i just see whoa I, I hit comments and i just seen some people are bothered and some people are under the impression that i'm a new youtuber on here just starting out <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Listen, if you're mad that I'm gonna possibly make money, cha-ching, it's already happened. And it's gonna continue to happen. Go away. Go away. You know, this, is, this isn't the first rodeo. It's a great life. I'm gonna continue to do my thing. And uh, you should never be mad. If you are watching other YouTubers or watching someone else in life or just watching your friend on Instagram getting a lot of views or whatever the case is and people are making money at what they love to do and you have something with inside you that gets pissed off because of this, you got a problem. You need to work on you. You need to go really shed the jealousy, get rid of that bad feeling and start to say what do i want to do well maybe you want to do that too maybe you want to go online and create and make money and become a personality or whatever whatever your dreams are you should focus on that take all that negative hate jealous jealousy all that hatred and envy and you know throw it away and put it towards something more productive in life and focus on you and that becomes positive and you'll feel a lot better trust me you will because uh being jealous of people will get you nowhere and those kids they're just too young they don't get it they're just jealous they're just jealous they're gonna bully this uh champion uh because whatever someone their uncle lost a fight listen that's not the way to go okay i am out i'll catch you in the next one